one story at our table was um, to encourage one's own resilience, so not to succumb to the taking of, of uh, medication, which is probably our era, certainly growing up a Methodist, you know, if you could suffer, that was a good thing. Um, <laughs> but I must say that many of us at the table actually have gotten out of asthma. Can, can you fight your way through it? No. You can't. No. I mean, th this is one of the myths that you can do something to strengthen your moral character yeah. so that you won't any longer have the problem. It, it's absolute garbage. But it's not garbage that many, many children grow out of asthma. We know that. We know that there's a lot more very young children, um, middle-aged children who have problems and they don't carry them on. However, if you follow these children for long enough into their 20s and 30s, they may have a recurrence of that problem. Okay? Now, we don't fully understand why this is the pattern with asthma. It's the same for eczema or atopic dermatitis. It's the same with a lot of allergies, that there are peak times when they're bad, then they may settle and then there may be a recurrence. But it's got nothing to do with your moral fortitude. I mean, I, that, that used to be a very predominant feeling about not only asthma, but a lot of other diseases. Mm. Epilepsy you know, is another one that comes to mind. A recurrent you know, condition, oh, it's because you've got weak moral fibre. I mean, th this is not this is not modern thinking about these problems. Well, anymore. actually, that was very much the case. That if you yeah. did have asthma, and you, for some reason, are feeling this yourself, but if you had asthma, you had done something wrong. That you were not treating your own asthma well enough, or, in fact, one of the girls at the table said her mother had said, "Oh, you're just not fit." Yeah. Yeah. So, which was her fault as well. Yeah, I mean, it's fascinating with asthma, isn't it? Because nobody would say that to somebody, a uh, child with diabetes. It's your fault. You've got diabetes. There are. We have, as a community, especially in previous times, different attitudes to different diseases. Some diseases are really stigmatised. And, and I have to say, even this day and age, I will see many dads who will not accept, particularly their male children, that they have asthma. That it's just that they're not fit enough and they need to do more running to strengthen their lungs and that they don't want them puffing on these terrible drugs to which they'll be addicted. So there, there are... We still have this funny thinking about certain illnesses, but asthma is a medical condition. We understand a lot about what we call the pathophysiology of the underlying abnormalities. We know that there's a strong genetic component to this, that these stories of asthma running in families is more the rule rather than the exception, um, particularly when asthma starts in early childhood. So we you know, in a scientific community to talk about genes and environment, that you have the right seed, that you've inherited certain characteristics that make you susceptible. And then if you're in the right environmental um, milieu, then this may be expressed as the condition asthma. Uh, 